looks like from here. It's so amazing, guys. Yeah, that's the beautiful view of Nairobi. So on today's video, I want to show you and take you around on a two-bedroom house. So I hope you're enjoying this video till to the end. Give it, give it a like. Here are more videos coming from Nairobi, Kenya. Without much further ado, let's check it out how it is. Yeah, family. So as you can see, that is Marwa at the apartment, family. Back when I was in Ghana, he was at the apartment. And as you can see, guys, I sent this money on the 12th of May. And she came to Kenya and back in April, family. So on the 12th of May, I sent this money, this 106,000 Kenyan shillings, as you can see, family. I sent this money for she to get the apartment on the, on the 12th. And then on the 18th, again, I sent another 100,000 Kenyan shillings for she to... To actually put the money together and get the apartment family so as you can see guys mara is behind all of this even before the apartment is furnished out and nothing is in the apartment he's there making video washing his clothes and, and doing a lot of stuff so when he hear he's saying that this is a hoax and this is a lie he's a liar and he's a thief and as you can see everything is there family he's at the apartment it was like two years ago and as you can see guys on the 18th you know like six days before us and another hundred and thousand kenyan shillings family so as you can see, guys, you know what I mean? Everything is there, all the evidence. So when I and Mara is actually, you know what I mean, don't want to advise the sister to refund jam tours, you can see that he's a thief and you guys should stop support a thief. That's what they do online, family. You should stop support them because at every, the evidence is here and he's still denying it. 
is still denying the evidence, the raw evidence family. So you know what to do, you know what to do. I don't know how they, how they accept life like this. But family, let's listen to this and then we'll come back. Listen to what David Jr. said at the end of the call that I have with him. When I, when I first tried to solve this matter, dealing with the family members and everything that know about it. Yeah, family. So I think it was actually David Jr. even called me that time. He actually called me, and he's the one who called me and, 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 and about the situation, guys. Peace and love, African family. Peace, love, and sunlight. This is Anke Ru from Jam Tours Africa family. I just want to react to this video, family. I just want to react to this video to let you guys know. I'm sure you listen to the audio and you hear David Jr. say he was going to talk to his mom family about the situation because David was there from the start. He's the one actually helped Diana to actually the man got to put in the, the the first set of things in the house family when I send the 200,000 Kenyan shillings. So he's there from the start. He know he knows everything. That apartment is my apartment family. He knows everything family. So he was the one who was staying there and then Mara come and join him and stuff family. So, you know, he, back then when I was in, in Ghana before I came to Kenya on the 7th of July family. So he knows everything. And as you can see, guys, he was at the apartment and stuff. Family. I just want to react to this video, guys, to let you know that, you know, when you see this content creator in the name of content, you can lose your things in the name of content. Because me naive about like youtube and thing and you know i know that they're making money from youtube so i say even if they want to make video no problem because i know that it's a way for them to earn money and stuff making content and stuff family but even when the sister saying this is my house and all of these things all of these things i look past it and i said to myself that well it's just for making content as you know they want to look good on the internet and stuff but when you think about it, family, it actually come back and bite me in, in my in my food family it actually come back and bite me them saying all of these things is actually they're sending out to the universe and it's intentional. When people lie on the internet and lie, they can never be trusted in real life family. So this is what I learned from the situation. What I learned from the situation, family, and this is somebody lying online just to post a, a video uh, about for them to look good and for them making it and their success and stuff, family. You should never trust them or you should never do business with them. That's the first red flag. That's a big red flag family. In this situation, I learned so much family. And I was just taking it so lightly now when I realized. Because, you know, I mean, somebody where you host in your country, they never spend a dollar. And they said when they came to Ghana, they spent no money and they were so happy and, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And see, they come to in, 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 in their country to do your this family. You know, see that you actually, you know what I mean, rent the apartment, furnish it out. Actually, when you're ready to leave, you actually get a tenant, put it inside, introduce them to the tenant. You know what I mean? Even the Airbnb, everything was in my account. My account, everything was set up in my account. Just for she to say she have an Airbnb and for she to get content and stuff, you know, actually allow her and, you know, make her a, 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 a host and stuff. You know what I mean? But all the money was coming to me because it's my apartment. I was the one paying the rent and doing everything, family. So to see that they use just one clause, just the clause, because I wasn't in the country when they um when the apartment rent and stuff. You know what I mean? I wasn't in the country and that's that's what happened, family. I wasn't in the country and you know when I come I lose track or whatever. I don't know what happened, but I did ask. But I said to myself, Well, I am it's my apartment anyway, so whatever. So just to see that they use that when I'm out of the country to actually take over the apartment and stuff, family. It's it's it, it, it's it's such a bad thing. And I just want to share this video out there, family. So if you use that in in the diaspora coming into Kenya or anywhere in the world and, and somebody tried to actually, you know what I mean, use it for content, use your resources for content, be careful. Be careful when a person using the resources for content. Content, You know, if you allow that person to use your, your resources for content, it should be only be that. You should never do business with that person because as you can see, the first instinct that that person is very dishonest.
It's very dishonest. They go online and, and they, they don't refer you in nothing. But they say it's theirs, it's this, it's that, just to look good on camera, just to get congratulations, just to get, you know what I mean? And the brother Mara and David Jr., everybody knows about it. The mother knows, everybody knows because she was there and she see everything and they know everything, family. So, guys, I just want to share this video with you. I'll put some comments here, what people are saying on the internet now. So, you know, I family, when you see people downfall on the internet, you cannot sorry for them because what they do to people is just coming around back in a circle. The world is just a cycle. What goes around comes around. And that's how the universe set it up, family. This is Anke Roo from Jam Tours Africa. One love, Jamaica.